report reveals APC governorship candidates not registered to vote in Edo states. Now don't start before the PDP. Now it don't become APC. You need in detail, please. A report has revealed that Senator Monday Okpai Bolo, the Your Progressive Congress APC candidate for the upcoming Edo 2024 governorship election, is not registered to vote in the state. Senator Okwebelo submitted his form EC9 affidavit on March 5, 2024, at the Federal High Court in Abuja. The affidavit, which was subsequently published by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC states his full name as Monday Okwebelo and records his birth date on August 29, 1970, in Irua, Esa Central Local Government. However, repeated checks on INEC official voter verification portal consistently consistently returned a voters not found message for Senator Okwebolo. This indicates that he is not registered to vote in any of the 18 local governments in Edo State, including his home local government of Esson Central. This discrepancy casts doubt on the authenticity of the voters card submitted by Senator Okwebolo to INEC. As far as say to be registered to vote is not a constitutional requirement for running for governor or senator, so meeting a potentially forged voters' card can have serious legal ramifications. Also, with the termination of the 2024 INEC continuous voter registration process, there is no legal way for Okpebe Law or the APC to rectify the issue before the September 21st governorship election. And then, Sabi, first of all, it was PDP who they were dragging that uh, then their primary is no day okay, it is cancelled and all of that is no longer. Those ones, they don't even do like say the thing touch them. Then continue to the move because me, I was like, if this thing go touch, if really, really, what's in this week they talk about PDP, which time they get? They'll go print people again. Maybe say, go be, come outside, bring up person, constantly they print people. No, no, you know, go walk. Then this. You mean they didn't vote for himself in the last senatorial election where he was voted and elected to the Senate? Senate, now I'm fine. Now you sabi you. Now you sabi. Smart thing, you can do that by the window. Continue telling lies until oh, you are tired. Lie, lie, people. May God have mercy on you, P people, PDP. Why are they peddle their own news? Nobody here will do. Nobody can. Nobody can do it. In. Nobody accuse her. If there is no impact on, on him, then why all this write up? That will make him not to be eligible to stand for election. That is why they should write anything about exactly if they are going to come out and say, ah, this is not going to affect him, then why should they even write anything about it? This election is between APC and PDP. Simple, okay. Monday is not new to ballot. He's not like, he's not like, I swear, who has Lagos units in his voters card. I don't understand. You are forgetting so soon that Senator Mondi Opobolo is a current senator in the Red River Chamber and his deputy is currently a member of House of Rep in the Green Chamber. On the IPC in the state, so tell us in the state where they are waiting governor registered then. Fake man with fake news and fake ideology. Tho. All professional criminals, APC, he won the Senate seats. Now, now I know say you be Momo, you think say, now you ask where we not get voter card, somebody that has never voted before, in a new state. You can imagine this kind of situation. People no longer choose their leaders. I don't tire. The other day, if PDP was coming and um, the PDP, APC was coming out to give us rundown of how then go you sweep the states. The same thing that they do during presidential election, what they ask say, she then know they even talk whether people go vote for them or not. Which kind of confidence be this? I registered him oh, while I don't wake up. Chief Justice, can you see can you see that? Or you go to court now. Anything goes in Nigeria, in the Nigeria judiciary, there is no problem at all. Have you forgotten the technicalities, magic during the last presidential election cases in our court? Laila News, even though I'm not a fan of APC, but news, this news is falsified. Okay? And I should come out now and prove to Nigeria that it's a fallacy. And not after the election will have been an exactly just like I'm talking for PDP. Hope they will not come and tell us that oh sorry you the election you cannot do anything about it. All right. The APC governorship candidate ought to have done a transfer of registration with the INEC 
some months ago to enable him to vote in his ward. Alex, these people are way behind time. Are they sabi you? Are they sabi? How did he even become a senator? If his voter's card is fake, what then has he been using to vote in previous elections in the extent that he won his senator elections? Ask them more Momo people as well who hasn't voted in Edo before should go and clarify himself first. He is not qualified to vote and he cannot be a candidate of governorship of Edo state election if he does not have a voter's card. His fake man. You shouldn't be his fake man. Fake story. Are you saying he didn't vote in the last election? Had he won as senator representing a senatorial district in Edo State? You have a sound mind and good question. You can you can praise the man all you like, but note that anything is possible here. Here it is 1993, Bashar Tofa, the NRC presidential candidate, was not even a registered voter. Now, this is going to be an off cycle vote where all eyes will be focused, unlike a general election where everyone is focused on themselves and candidates, especially of the ruling party, can calculate and not enter in a polling booth. The party I need passed him. That is what matters to Nigerians. Any other talk virgin and integrity will not fly. I'm very relaxed about the matter. I have heard the man speak. I wouldn't vote him as my class captain back in school, but it doesn't matter. As a matter of fact, I'm not even a voter in that state. What eats do is how we let issues of integrity slide like they don't matter. Exactly. Such things have become a deluge and normalized and um, undermine progress. Yes. Things we say no supposed to happen, they happen. And I don't know why. Eh? Matter, as in, matter will be say it has to do with integrity. We will come, we will sweep and under the carpet. This is not a problem. His registration requirements can be transferred to other state. The same with Asue Godalu. You can transfer your card from one place to the other. APC started this rubbish. They are doing cheap politics. Whatever be the case. Whatever be the case at all. All right. Okay. Just hold on. You can praise the man all you like, okay? You can praise the man all you like. But note that anything is possible here. Hear this. 1993, Bashar Tofa, the NRC presidential candidate, wasn't even a registered voter. Now, this is going to be an air of cycle vote. We all eyes be focused on, like, a general election where everyone is focused on themselves and candidate, especially of the ruling party can circulate and not enter the polling booth. A party I need passed in, that is what matters to Nigerians. Any other talk, virgin and integrity won't fly. All right, on this note, you've come to the end of the news. So thank you for tuning in to listen until I come you the next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.